big. So freaking big. What's up, everyone? I am Traxxas Driver 31 and FHRC Brony. And yes, I have the light um, facing to the box because it's kind of dark here if I was pointing it out. Anyways, it's finally here. I finally got what I wanted to get. It's basically a late Christmas present and the best way to start off the new year. Today, I'm going to be unboxing the new Traxxas Slash Two Wheel Drive X of Five Edition. And obviously, you've already seen the name, Courtney Force Edition. And I've been really wanting this for quite a long, quite a long time. And thank God, this they said that at the guy at the RC shop I, I went to earlier today, uh, he said that this is the last uh, X of Five Slash with onboard audio. And yes, it has the onboard audio too. That was left in stock, so I had to buy it. So I paid about 200. Uh, close to $295, so $300 close. Uh, to almost. So, yeah, enough of me yapping at this one, but let me tell you one more thing. Uh, I did ride my bike there, <laughs> and I had to carry this big box just to get back to my house. But it's, it's here, and uh, to speed up the process, instead of me showing you me crinkling scissors and stuff like that. I'm going to speed up the process and I'm going to see you guys in the uh, <laughs> in a few minutes. Literally happy right now. So there's the most important thing, the the car and the and the controller in the back. But I just want to take up the most important stuff with the pretty lame stuff real quick. Um, right here is the uh, let me actually cut this out real quick. So um, basically, uh, you got these uh, uh, preload clips and stuff like that. Um, I personally hate this though. It's nice that, that Traxxas gives us a charger, but honestly, really, car charger? You honestly think that we're gonna be driving, <laughs> driving these cars on <laughs> on the road? <laughs> but um, I don't know what this one is. I think this is like for 17 millimeter. Hex, hexes, but they give you your basic tools, your uh, T uh, four-way wrench and um, Allen wrenches, which I also have on my Rustler. And we got some uh, turnbuckle stuff here. So this right here is uh, extra body clips and and uh, body washers to protect the body, which I'm gonna put on my, on the car. This is a battery spacer right here uh, for shorter batteries, like my 6L nickel metal hydride. And over here, this is the uh, uh, speed, optional speed gearing pinion and spur. So, but you don't want to run this uh, long term. But these are uh, will give you the advertised 30 miles an hour, which is on the box earlier. So, and then we got some ads too, pretty cool instruction. So. Basically, you're gonna be asking me why didn't I didn't why I didn't get a slash two-wheel drive with onboard audio and a brushless system and an, and a low center of gravity chassis? Well, because it's obvious. I already have a slash two-wheel drive that's already brushless, and that's the Mamba Max Pro. Uh, I think that's a 4200 kV, and it's already has an LCG chassis, so I don't need I don't need to get another LCG slash just just to get onboard audio, but. I like this one because I like the court. I've been, uh, I love Courtney Ford as a race car driver, and uh, yeah, she's just earned my respect. So, um, let me move the camera closer a little bit. But basically, um, let me tell you a little, a little bit of history of the Slash itself. The Slash was was introduced back in 2008, and this was this was literally the first car to be ever. To be scale, you know, like wheels inside the fender, the full fender design. Whereas, like cars like my, like my Rustler, uh, it's all open wheeled, so it's uh, unrealistic to get to get better performance. They have to be on the wheels and not on the back of the cars. So the Slash was the one that started the whole new class of RC that that. Um, Helped it actually, and there were so many companies like um, ordering, pre-ordering slashes, and then other companies like Losi Associates started to jump on the bandwagon. That's why we got nowadays we have the 
associated SC10. We have the uh, uh, other stuff like from Losi. I think it was called the uh, AT. I don't know what, but basically other companies started jumping on the bandwagon. So, but without the slash, you know, without the sl tracks of slash, who's gonna make short course trucks now? So I'd like to congratulate uh, Traxxas for that. And you guys did a good job uh, back in 2008. So um, what we got here, let's see. Um, like I said, we got the full fender design, uh, which I like. And these tires are uh, pretty new to me, actually. These are the, the stock tires that they've been having since 2008. The, in most editions, of the Slash will have the BF Goodrich tires, the tires, the Mud Terrain TA, which these are honestly terrible on, on off-road surface, but I don't know on this one, um, so I'm gonna hold up judgment before I, until I drive this thing. So, yeah, so, and we'll go ahead and take the body off, and this body is, a uh, moderately thick, okay, um, my... Where's my other body on my slash? Let me, I'll be right back. Uh, here's my other body. This one's uh, the other body of my other slash. This one is a little, it's a little bit thin to me because, well, obviously it's kind of damaged. But uh, this one right here is uh, moderately thick though. But I, I, I did feel a thicker ones though. But these are, um, but this one's actually kind of better to me, honestly. And then those are the speakers with the uh, BEC connectors. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. But that's not important yet. So, uh, basically right here is, um, like I said, the Slash, uh, I think I did say this earlier, but the Slash shares most of the same parts as what you find on the Rustler Stadium truck and the Stampede and the Bandit. So some of the parts are readily available for the Slash. Uh, and let's go see here. Uh, uh, suspension setup. Actually, it's actually pretty decent. Um, check at the back a little bit. It's all right. Um, they let me start off with the springs real quick. They come with these interesting progressive springs. So let me show you what they look like. Um, but the ones that are on the back are pretty obvious. Basically, uh, how do I do this? Let me rise up the camera real quick give you a close-up shot of what these look like. Um, I know you can't see that, but basically when you uh, go through a turn and like say like turn to the left, it's going to... the coils are closer to the top of the coils on the bottom, the coils are closer together, whereas the ones in the, towards the middle are not. So when you turn, let's say, to the left, it's going to turn on that direct... it's going to lean to the right a little bit. So it's because the softer springs is a lot softer, I mean, the shorter spring rate is softer. But when you get uh, closer to the right there, it becomes much, much, much stiffer. Um, honestly, these are, I really don't like these, these kind of springs, but they're mainly there because uh, just to make the truck look real, like, uh, and yet, like the actual torque racing trucks. So it, it, I think the novelty of that is gone nowadays <laughs> but it's cool though it, I, I like it just okay and um let's see there's some warnings here uh this one just basically talking about the, the battery which is totally not relevant i'll go take off the actually you know what let me go take uh sorry for the little darkness there a little bit but take this off it's gonna take a while uh, the one at the back was the. Uh, it talks about the the warning about the motor, which is totally irrelevant in this video. Uh, I really don't understand this. They have a long antenna too, but this is 2.4 gigahertz. Hmm. And then new stuff. This one right here talks about the XO5 Easy set of tips. Uh, I know that's written in a different language, but here's the other one. But this is basically talking about the, the tips and tricks which you can actually do with this uh, ESC, uh, which is over there at the back. So, um, on, uh, back to the springs. Honestly, like I said, uh, they're really there 
or just to make the truck look real, like what the real torque racing trucks though. When you uh, accelerate, uh, the bat actually squats down, uh, like what the real torque trucks do. And when it, and when you apply the brakes too hard, it will, will, will dive. So, um, for let's go take a look at this. And put this on the side real quick. So basically, right here is a uh, uh, chassis from on top. You got this Nerf bar right here. Uh, they're mainly there to keep the the body square and, and, and firm. So when you hit, when you uh, when another car hits you, and there's something solid behind it, and just the leg sound of the body itself. So over here we got the uh, 2775 steering servo really torquey motor not the fastest servo but it's really good for its class and then there's the onboard audio module which I sh will show you in a separate video and we got over here the waterproof receiver and yes all the electronics in this car is waterproof what's not waterproof is the the important stuff like the wheel the um, the metal parts that's in here that's kind of exposed so it's not totally waterproof and a motor, let me move this controller real quick. The motor right here is a Titan 12 term. Same thing as on my Rustler. Not a really good motor for longevity, but it's a really fast motor, which is pretty cool. Uh, and uh, the back is brushless ready. So the, um, you're ready to go upgrade to a brushless system if you get later one down the line, like a Valenion VXL or what I have on my other Slack, which is the Mamba Max Pro from Castle. Um, uh, the battery here is a is a seven cell nickel metal hydride battery pack. It's uh, eight point four volts nominal, and it's uh, the thirty hundred uh, three thousand milliamp hour battery pack. So we're gonna give uh, about fifteen to twenty minutes, almost close to a half an hour of driving, uh, depending on how you drive the car. So, like I said. Uh, I did not buy an LCG converted uh, LCG slash nor a brushless slash because, like I said, I already I already have one. And I already have one, so no need for a another LCG converted slash. So I guess that's about it. Like I said, these tires are are the stock ones, but they still don't feel great though, like what they have on the uh, like the BF Goodrich. So. But like I said, I will hold off judgment and see what, hap what happens later down the line. And uh, one more thing about the XL5 system. This is brush only. And it's fully waterproof. And you can act there, are th there are three options of race, training, and standard and standard sports mode. And it also has a LiPo cutoff. So you can actually run s safely with lithium bat polymer batteries on this one. Now, according to what the warning says, I think it says in here. Uh, I don't think it says in here, but it's it, it's only compatible up to two S LiPo, so it's 7.4 volts uh, compared to a 8.4 volts um, nickel metal hydride battery. Sounds like a big difference, but um, the nickel metal hydride batteries will drop in voltage a lot more on the power, whereas a LiPo battery will give you more power from bottom to the top and will give you more punch and better acceleration. So I guess that's about it for now. Yeah, uh, for now with the truck. And let me put this. Let me put the body back on real quick. So with that out of the way, here's the controller. I don't have batteries right now, but it takes uh, four AA batteries compared to the old traditional eight. With the old style batteries, I mean, old style controllers will from Traxxas will look something like this. This is a 2.4 gigahertz, but it's the same kind of. Um, uh, design as the 27 megahertz controller. And I do have this exact same controller, but it's slightly different though. Here's the one that came with my Rustler, and here's the new one. The difference between this is pretty obvious. This one's a three channel, just because it has the third uh, little switch here for the third channel. This one does not. And uh, let's see here. Blah blah blah. Yeah. It's not the TQI. So it's basically, they're both the same except this one has three channels. And this one has a steering trim, but I don't see a multi-function knob, so this is the absolute low end of the range. And it doesn't have the throttle trim like what my other controller has. 
uh, which the 27 megahertz look like. So I don't see a 70-30 here, so I'm guessing a 70-30, I'm guessing. Looks like it. So this basically, this one right here is um, uh, it's basically a neutral switch, um, which I will explain in, the, in a later video. So yeah, nothing too special there. But there you go. There's the Traxxas Slash, two-wheel drive, onboard audio, my first time unboxing a card I legitimately have and paid with my own money. So like I said, this is close to 300 bucks. And I gotta tell you, I'm in love with it. Uh, and uh, there are many different permutations of radio com combinations and uh, 27 megahertz. They don't do that anymore, so that's, that's, that's a plus. Now they're going to 2.4 gigahertz. There are now um, either brushless editions or brush edition, which I have right here. There's the Courtney Force edition. There's the Mark Jenkins edition, and um, and the uh, Mike Jenkins. There's plenty of editions of the slash. Though depending on how much you pay, you get different features. So that's about it, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will be my onboard audio feature, which is the onboard audio feature. So. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing, and I will see you guys later. Peace out. Special shout out to Pro Gamer 134. Um, uh, link will be in the description below, so you can go check out his channel. And uh, yeah, he's his goal is to reach 100, uh, 100 subscribers. So we'll see what he can do in the future.